Airmen from both the fuel shop and fire department at Bradley Air National Guard Base trained their ability to conduct a confined space rescue on June 4th. The annual training requirement for both sections simulates the rescue of an airman who has been injured while working in the fuel tank of a C-130 Hercules. The training also develops interoperability with local police and fire crews who would respond to this emergency. Fuel Systems Maintenance Shop Chief Master Sergeant Jonathan Shepard says this training is an essential component of conversion to the C-130 mission. I think, that, I think we did well. I think we did well. We're making uh, milestones for a new aircraft. Each aircraft presents its own uh, barriers, if you will. This aircraft is a whole new world. There's tons of confined spaces for us. There's a lot of fuel tanks for us to bodily enter. Uh, so it's really important that we hone our senses and do this training and keep progressing in the training we're doing for this aircraft so that uh, we have the quick response. Good for everybody. Master Sergeant Shepard also said that flight line environment factors, including high temperatures and lower oxygen levels, will be alleviated when the shop begins working in Bradley's new fuel cell facility, which is currently under construction. Reporting for the 103rd Airlift Wing, I'm Senior Airman Stephen Tucker.